uh, well, I do bring some bad news. Nerd Rage so CEO believes it's too early to divest in Valorant. Well, while there's a lot of people that actually do believe well, Valorant is gonna be great and big and right, Nerd Rage Esports is one of the top organizations in the world, you know, if you know how I'm talking about. They have Call of Duty, they have Rocket League, they have everything you can see. Um, and under their roster, they have one sole individual playing Valorant as a content creator, Brandon Asu. Uh, both C so CEO Hector Rodriguez and Andy Miller have shared their thoughts before on the Nerd Rage Duo podcast, which is a pretty awesome podcast. But their latest anime with Miller gave us an update on the situation and whether we will see them in Valorant before Counter Strike Global Offensive. Miller's view hasn't changed since a month ago, sticking to his opinion that it's still too early to invest in Valorant. Valorant could either be there for 5 to 10 years or it could die instantly. It's a pretty good investment. He admitted that the title has potential to grow a strong international esports title with Riot Games doing it right. However, he describes the current state of the title's competitive ecosystem as being in the first inning of the game. So it's the game is completely fresh. It's like putting a bread into the oven. It's like that, which doesn't offer enough stability to tempt a huge commitment out of Nerd Rage Esports. Just like Fnatic, which I reported back. Um, in another question, a fan of the organization was curious about their priorities, where it's to get back to Counter-Strike level offenses or dive into Vara. Nerd Rage Esports used to have a CSGO roster, if anyone remembers, which lasted a few years and was considerably strong until 2019 that just failed to off. The roster managed to win the Intel Extreme Masters Shanghai American Minor Championship, Berlin 2019 American Minor Championship, Katowice, which is Katowice is pretty strong, and even finished 3 to 4 in the ESL Pro League Season 9 Finals. In the end, their roster was acquired by Evil Geniuses. Evil Genius is actually strong in CSGO. All true, their owners have much more Counter-Strike Global Offensive knowledge, making it easier to get back in the scene. Any meal will reveal it's more likely to see a Valorant roster before another CSGO squad. So they're not gonna have two teams, they're gonna have one team. He drew it back to what the game's competitive landscape is going through and the future looks like between both of them. What do you think of Norwich Esports strategy when it comes to Valorant Esports? Do you think it's safe to assume that the time as goes on the scene will just grow stronger? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So nobody is talking about this, but I have some knowledge on this, so let me tell you. Uh, it's costing them a lot of cash, a lot, a lot of cash to make an eSport team, definitely. Like, it's, 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 not, it's not cheap, it's not simple. And definitely you need to consider before putting like, at least, I guess it would be like 3 million. Would you really put 3 million into a Valorant game? That's just the first steps and like Riot announces, oh, if you want to enter uh, our program, you have to pay 25 million um, for, for, for 10 or 20 spots, uh, just like in Overwatch League. That's, that's crazy, right? So you kind of want to wait it out. You know, uh, there's not a lot of prize pools anyway and stuff like that. Not, not big enough prize pools for these teams to be worth it to just start competing. Now, right now they're competing more of a training training thing like everyone is not at a profit right now in Valorant esports so I definitely if I would consider what I would do is if I had like a lot of cash I would just keep it slow keep it simple like CSGO you know Call of Duty what do you have I think I have Rocket League right Rocket League Overwatch they're a lot a lot they're really established right so they don't have to do anything um but they boasting teams like, um, like they're good, but they they don't they don't have enough cash to just throw it away and see. Okay, Valorant didn't work. What's next for us? So I definitely think Valorant will work on the long run. And yeah, guys, talk to you until next time. This is Fanman, sign out. Peace, guys.